Welcome back to That Is Mundane. I've got a structure today that I'd like to show you. It might not be the best time of day as far as the sun angle goes, but we've got to see this thing. It is a design by Frank Lloyd Wright. You might have heard of him. And it's a church. And it's right behind me here. That is the First Christian Church. And it is located in Phoenix, Arizona. And I thought we'd get a look around the structure, which uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, pretty impressive. If you ask me as a non-architecture expert, just the average guy who sort of likes this type of unique stuff, things that exist in our world and sort of stand out, make our day a little bit brighter this is definitely one of those, and I'm trying to find an angle here by which you're not gonna get too much sun in that camera lens, but you can see up here, hopefully, the, even these ceilings are sort of, um, it's like a, the ceiling has something special in it. It's, just, it's not just concrete. It's got some of that native rock laid into it. And it's quite a large structure for a church. My understanding, just having, having um, done a very minimal amount of research, <laughs> is that this was actually built a couple years after the death of that famous architect. So he had drawn this up during his lifetime and it never came to fruition until the plans were sort of resurrected following his death. And this church was built in the early 1970s. So kind of like the Nixon era is when this church would have first been constructed. So you can hopefully get an idea for it here outside of the sun. And we'll just walk around and see what else we can find in this very, um, let us say, outstanding piece of architecture just kind of sitting here off the beaten path a bit and it is famous for its tower or towers so this is kind of a unique angle here that you can see of one of the towers in the distance we'll see if we can get up closer to that and here you might also be able to get a decent idea of what this side of the property looks like now that we're under this tree for a moment. I mean, here you've got three rocks just kind of stuffed into the concrete and those have been there since 1972. So basically before I was born, those rocks were strangely placed there <laughs> and continue to be to this day. So definitely working in a lot of that stone that they would have just pulled locally and and um, kind of mixed into that concrete work right and then over here we get much more heavy into the concrete work and uh, you don't see the stone as much but you really have to uh, you know you got to give a lot of credit to the people who actually constructed this having done a very good job with all of this elaborate concrete work I'm sure that's not easy to you know build the forms and everything at, at these different angles have everything be so perfect and I would say with a minimal amount of leaching I mean you can see a little bit of maybe some leaching taking place up there but not nearly as much as you might see in the typical concrete structure that's been around for for a while in my non-expert view so we are getting pretty close to one of these towers, but again, because of the sun angle, we're gonna have to cheat a little bit, try to stay in the shade and still get a look at that tower, which has some netting on one side of it. And I don't know if that was sort of designed that way or if um, that netting has been added as a bit of an add-on. So that's the famous tower. The other one, I believe, is up on the roof. 
We've got some interesting little pieces of art in this nice, um, nice little courtyard here, right? So as I was saying, I mean, this is a place that, to me, it appears people come to get a look at it. And there's something kind of interesting about that, right? That people still take the time to recognize this place as being something special, as being something that, yes, it's a fun functional church and has been for a long time, but it's also something that, um, it just really kind of brightens your day when you come to a place like this and you realize how much effort was put into this just so that you and I can have such a, um, such a nice little addition to our days.